Hi everyone and welcome to the September 2018 support live webinar for wave5trade.com, soon to be trade5th.com. I uh, just want to go over a few different things today. I'm going to go over a couple of signals on shorter time frames that I do in the new signal service that will be launching in October for sort of intraday and day trading stocks, uh, which starts with my um, pre-market prep show. So first of all, a trade that we're in in that room uh, is AMD. Um, really good. We triggered last Thursday, uh, tip, well, sorry, Wednesday. We tiptoe triggered, carried it over the weekend, and we had the big gap up today. Really good looking trade. The risk reward to the target zone here is one to two. So really good looking trade on AMD there. Very, very simple on the setup again. We have the wave four pullback against the main trend. The wave four found support in the amber zone. And we look for a decent entry above these pivots here at, um, I think it was something like 2530. Uh, the false breakout um, was strong on the uptrend, the yellow dots here, and then we pulled back against it on the wave four. And then it wants to return to that main bullish trend. Again, just to remind you guys, I like to do this all the time. So we, to measure the Elliott Wave Oscillator, we use Fibonacci extension tool. We go to the highest point on the oscillator of the Wave 3, click once. We go to the zero line, we click again. And then we go back up to the highest point on the Wave 3. And then, obviously, we need our 9140. Uh, for me, on Ninja Trader, I have got this as a template, the oscillator pullback, and apply. Okay, so as you can see, <clears throat> on that wave four pullback here, we had a nice pullback here into the amber zone. 80% probably is going to go on and make a new wave five high. Uh, we at this similar sort of situation, we were below the stochastic pullback, and we just just got to go. I think that's an original entry. And the trade room is on the 30 minute time frame actually. Um, but that's where we are. Let's just change it to 30 minute to show you. Because I look at a lot shorter time frames um, on there, but we are miles away from that there. That's where we are. So again, The original signal was in the trade room on the 30 minute. That was the 60 minute time frame. I just consolidated a little bit. Um, but again, the 6-4 moving average um, was, you know, way below our entry there. This was the entry Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then today really going very well. The 535 was between 1940 on the 30 minute. Uh, so that's good. Um, okay, Trevor, yes, the new website, everything will be migrated over for the stock scanner membership. Uh, absolutely. So you'll get emails with all those details. So another one that we're in today on the 60 minute time frame is QCon. So again, very, very simple here. Five thirty. Let's just concentrate on the 535. Don't want to do the measurement again because <clears throat> I do get lots of emails how to measure this from, from new users. And I want to make sure I've covered this at least twice in this opening section. So the highest point on wave three, click once. The zero line, click the second time. Back up to the highest point on wave three, click again. And then we just need the 9140 in there. So just put it on the properties. With Ninja Trader, I've got a template there. Oscillate pullback. Load and play. So what we have is um, pullback between 19 and 40, really good. Uh, this was Friday. So the first bar on Friday, you've got to look at price action as well. The first 60 minute candle on Friday was a bullish engulfing on Thursday's last little red doji there. Then we had the big move up and then Slight pullback, but then a good move into those highs and um, on Friday. So 
the entry was above the highs of Friday. Uh, and then as you can see today, we had the open and it went through and looks pretty good to me uh, on QCOM. So AMD, QCOM. So the, the, the fear, the pullback is on the 60 minute, um, Trevor, because it's automated. The, the signals I give uh, on these short time frames, uh, the, all the fibs, the pullbacks are all done on the specific time frame. So in my pre-market prep show, we set up a lot of these on 30 minutes, 60 minutes uh, for trading. Uh, NVDA is another one, for example, that we're doing at the moment. Tesla short is another uh, one that we've got on. Um, so, yeah, all looking very good. GGAL is another one. I think so. We, we are forming a bullish flag here, Trevor. Uh, right at twenty at seventy dollars. I've already decided with my trading team. If we can't push through seventy dollars today, we are going to take profit because this is around about I don't know what it is uh, about zero point nine percent profit on the trading account balance, and in one day that's very good. We've already taken profit on. Uh, another on GGAL, I think it is GGAL on the on the short side. Let's just do that one. So back with with the, with this new signal service, it's about um, accumulating profit. Okay. We can't see it too clearly on here, um, but we moved, We made this move today. I think it was on a shorter time frame, actually. It's on 30 minutes. Okay, so before we look at any more, Trevor, I just want to go through the new day trading add-on for Think or Swim. Okay, now <clears throat> we're actually trialing version two already. Version one's out, but we want to put version two out before uh, the end of September when I'm going to run the boot camp training for this for the, all those that have purchased it. Now, this is a day trading uh, add on to Think or Swim. At the moment, it's $169. Uh, it will go up once we get version two to $199. It's currently, what you have is a multi dot time frame here down at the bottom here. So this, going from the bottom, is the daily, which shows you the overall trend is long because it's green. You've got the two hourly, the hourly, the 30, the 15, and then the current time frame you're on. This is currently a five minute here. So what we look for on this multi-dot time frame is you see the cloud on the main chart here. Basically, this is our W5T EMA cloud. Now, these dots denote where it is on that specific, where the price is on that specific time frame uh, in relation to the cloud. So if it's cyan, it's in the cloud. If it's red, it's below. If it's green, it's above. Okay. There's a lot more on the trading on this. Um, but the idea is um, we've got ATR switches on there and all sorts of versions too. Really, really cool. So when you look at oil going in uh, to the European session this morning, we were quite flat. Uh, we, we see on the MTF dot cloud here that we've pulled back against the main trend. So we can see that on the 15, on the 5 and the 15, and then the 30, we pulled back into the cloud. Even on the 60 at some stages, but did hold a support and then came back again. So this was like a pullback. Now, what we're looking for is a breakout then um, with our new um, multi time frame stochastic we get the normal stochastic um, green arrow, and then we get these three yellow arrows, which denote really strong potential bullish move. So we're, we're looking that all of the MTF dots go green, which it does, and then we would enter just above that pivot there when it pulls back and tests the cloud again. So there's a lot more on this, but what it is, is really, really good for futures and stocks day trading. So as you can see, at this point here, all the MTF dot cloud turns green. Okay, we're past the stochastic signal, and then what usually happens 
is we get a pullback into our cloud on the time frame that we're in, and then we look for the long. So going along above here, that was the trade of the day on oil. Really, really big, big um, ticks there on that time frame. Also, you will notice on our blog there are some recent trades that I've put in. I'm a trading team. I've put into um, trading journals. So whether that's gold. Uh, NQ, 6E, ES, oil, they're all on there, okay? And they are, they can be viewed all here. Okay, so they are on the way5trade.com forward slash blog. Uh, so this is just a, a, a brief uh, overview of how this really works. Does any of you have this at the moment? Uh, I know we've had quite a few people get this um, pre uh, boot camp. Um, but we, we are working on version two already to add some more layers to it. It does work on Forex, George. Uh, we can do an example now. Let's just, um, let's just restore that one and let's go. This is 6E, okay? But I will put, um, what do you want? Uh, do you want, I should put Euro US dollar on there, which is 6E really. And let's maximize. Just give it a minute. I've got a lot running on this computer at the moment. I do have a new one. Slowly loading things up onto there. You can use it for swing trading stocks, Joe. Uh, sorry, Trevor. Uh, if you look at the latest article in that blog, you will see. W5T NTF dot cloud on stocks and it tells you how to use it there. But this is add on to the main indicator suite to give you um, great um, sort of day trading um, advantage, if you like. Just let this clear up a little bit. I need the dots to change first. No, George, it works on five and three minutes. It's a, it's a pure day trading suite, okay? Just giving this time to load up a little bit. You've got to imagine I've got eight charts. Um, okay, so I just have to, bear with me a minute. I've just got to send the signal out for the swing trades because KSS has just hit target. One point six percent profit. TAB trading account balance. See, the market's alive, guys. I'm still trading, so I've just got to uh, send this out. So, have we loaded yet? We have loaded on Euro US dollar on the five minute, okay? So, as we can see, we've gone potentially now bearish bias because the daily is in red at the bottom on our dot cloud here. And we've gone from a bullish uh, then to cyan, which means the daily is in the cloud. And then we've gone below the cloud, okay? So, we're looking for bears. No, it includes the, um, right, what it includes is the yesterday's high open and yesterday's close and yesterday's low labels. And on futures, you will see estim uh, the estimated move high an estimated move low, the EMH there. It includes the 30, uh, the sorry, the W5T EMA cloud, and it includes will will include 
the um, the multi time frame stochastic uh, in there as well. So it's not just a dot cloud; it's a multiple time frame stochastic. It's uh, the W5 T EMA cloud, the labels for yesterday's highs, lows and closes, and the estimated move highs and, and lows for, for futures as well. And also a special ATR uh, switch, which we will be giving the settings out to those that purchase it. And they are a really good indication as well. Really, really powerful. And obviously, we're going to teach everybody how to use this. This has been developed with one of my uh, inner circle, who's now a part of my trading team for Wave 5 Trade. Um, so really, really excited about this. And it works very well. So I'm just going to look here. We're going to look for potential shorts and longs and things like that on this. Um, I just want to isolate up here somewhere. I want to look where the dot clouds have gone. So I just want to talk about the dot cloud a minute, George, on uh, Euro US dollar. As you can see, we were on the daily, we were cyan. We were in the cloud on the daily for a long time, okay? For a long, long time. After we were in green, okay, which means we were bullish. But now we've changed from cyan. And now the daily is in red, but it's in, it, then it's gone back into there. So we're looking for potential bearish moves at the moment. And as you can see, these set up quite a lot, really. Um, I'm just trying to show you an example of the switch. Um, okay, so here we go. Let's zoom in and show you how this switch works. ATR switch. I'm going to zoom in and then you right so on my chart you can see the green hatch line here okay let me know if you can see it say so yes yes Paul the green hatch line here okay then it switches to red here okay indicating bearish move look at the dots red 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 five minute 15 30 hourly two hourly inside there in the daily we've got the red arrow we've got the three arrows for the multi time frame stochastic this is a short okay we do teach the entries but the entry strategy is very simple we need to go below the day this pivot point here uh, for the daily that was the short entry there all the way down and then we're going to teach some um, um, trading management strategies but that was the ATR switch strategy part of this uh, day trading add-on here and this was on euro US dollar all the dots uh, were red except for the daily we got the green arrow the purple arrows down we got the switch we go short below the pivot point here and that was the move there came back up a little bit but continued down. Okay, so George, you think it works for Forex? Okay, uh, and obviously it's there when you look for fifth wave trades as well. Uh, all of these back those up, okay? They really do back up that uh, fifth wave move. Now, I did recently do a fifth wave move on uh, gold. I did write a journal in the uh, in the blog for it. It was last week. So we're going to. It'd be very difficult to go back in time because obviously the wave count will be different now. Uh, but we can we can have a go. We can go back and have a look. In fact, it might be easier just to pull the blog article up. Okay, so this is in the blog. It's going to go large on here. Okay, so again, very range-bound period at this point. Okay, 
and then we have the third wave okay the third wave starts then to change all the dots from red to green to cyan to green we're getting get we're going there we're going okay then we have a pullback against that main bullish trend that we're in at the moment one two three four five five minute candles settling there okay all the green dots false bar stochastic on the top 535 oscillator pullback between 90 and 140 percent stochastics crossed we've got to go long outside the six four moving average high and that's what happened here this is the entry 12 10 40 10 minutes through the um the wave five trade target and it the estimated move high and bounced off it okay so again it's combined you can combine there's different strategies with this day trading add-on and it works for stocks futures and forex this it helps you identify those really strong potential fifth wave moves but also there's the the atr switch strategy combined with the multiple time frame dots there's the new multiple time frame stochastics all giving you those really strong potential um, trading opportunities there. So let's just um, let's move on down. It does, Trevor. The article um, does tell you how to do that in the blog. The in the MTF dot cloud on stocks. Okay. It actually shows you, and there's a screenshot here of the settings on what to how to set it for swing trading, okay? And to basically to, to take off extended hours for stocks, you must do that first, okay? And then it tells you the, the uh, how to change it to monthly, weekly, four day, two days, and daily for swing trades. But there's a really good article written by Jerry, a uh, really, really good article there, but that helps you understand how to, to reassign that. Um, for for swing trading, and we will be teaching that in the boot camp uh, at the end of September. So let's just minimise that. Okay, so again, this is available at one hundred and sixty nine dollars. This add on, once we launched version two, which has the multiple time frame stochastics, the ATR switch added to it, it will go up to one hundred and ninety nine. It is available right now for 169 and you get a lifetime license. If anybody does need it, please email me at paul at wave5trade.com. Okay. I just want to check on a trade at the moment kss so i'm going to go to the ninja trader version again i'm going to go to here okay so where's one on the daily CBS. hd doing well guys this is a trade i've been on uh, was well, an investment on the weekly this was the wave four now we're just above 1% profit. Those stochastics still go, George, uh, and still are good. What it does is combine that stochastic with a stochastic from a higher time frame. Okay. And again, that's all explained in the, in the boot camp when I do it. Um, but what, what, you know, Elliott Way theory works better with multiple time frames, especially on shorter, shorter time frames. You need to know what's going off above you. So now we're going to do that. So it doesn't replace it. It just overlays some another one to it for day trading. Uh, so I just need to go on a, a daily time frame, and I want to go KSS. Okay, as you can see, KSS uh, is just about to hit the target. Okay, been in this quite a while now. Entry was all the way down here, and we are ready to go. I've already taken profit on that already. Um, so the entry was 73.15.
So this was a swing trade off the daily time frame. So for those that really can't be in front of their computer every day, swing trading off the daily time frame is a really great strategy. And I did that for quite a few years. Um, you don't have to manage it um, and be in front of the computer all the time. All you need to do is set the orders up, set the take profits and all that sort of thing. Really, really simple um, to, to set up there. Uh, so we had the way through pullback. We entered this on the 19th of July. So we've held it for quite a long time. And we've just hit the 1.6% profit again after this little pullback. So we've rode some pullbacks on there, which are normal. Uh, but now is the time to take profit on this back at that 1.6% profit TAB. I just see AMD's hit another high there today. Wow. Okay. AMD has just made a new wave five high. So let's just go back there. I do on the same one, I can do on race, AMD. We just breached the wave three, Trevor, on AMD. Really, really good looking trade today. That's now 1.7% profit on my account balance. And I've been in the trade one, two, three. This is the fourth day. Really, really powerful setups, these. And it's still pushing now. In fact, just looking on another screen at the moment, seeing where my 2% profit line is because I'm going to be taking profit on this, I think, if I can get up there. $28, $28, that's what we're looking for, Trevor. I know you're in this. I think you're in it as well, Don, yeah? Don, trader that is. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> it's on fire. How to trade such a long way for, okay. So, so you're talking about, because we're swing trading this, um, how I would manage it. So let's talk about that, the psychology. Um, those in my trade room and main circle, uh, I've seen me trade this all the way through. So let's just put the stop loss on. Let's set it up, so just to get things going here. It's not exact, but I just want to just do it really quickly, Trevor. So obviously this has got to be physical stocks, okay? Your yes, Trevor, you'll be in it on the NTB Pro, yeah. Membership. So for me, I've just got out of it because I just wanted to take that 1.6. It could go higher, but to be honest, I've just taken YPF off as well. So I've made 2.1% profit on the account balance today for the swing trades so again just remind you guys how to do the risk reward use the fib extensions again tool that you'll use a lot so you go from the stop loss click you go to the entry it's 15 and then you just move it across to there like that at the same level so we were 15 okay um, we just want to reorganize that to show the 1.6 and everything. Okay, so <clears throat> obviously we've had the wave four pullback. We've entered sensibly above this pivot point here and outside of the six ball moving average high. And then we've entered. So then we wait for the first pullback. When we're swing trading stocks, there's new cycles which stocks go through. You expect in normal circumstances between nine and 20 days 
uh, on a daily time frame for a swing trade like this. Now, we're in very volatile times at the moment. The Trump tweet can destroy, okay? So the idea is, <clears throat> this usually takes 30 to 35 days now at the moment, so you've got to wait for those pullbacks. So we, we, we tiptoe triggered and we went range bound. We do see signs of exhaustion with this doji on this day, and then we get a pullback. This was earnings, by the way, okay? I'm sure it was. So then the next day we get the bullish army and we start to pull up. Okay, that gives us confidence because we have a higher support level than the wave four, okay? Now, the next move up is a good impulse leg. Then we have another sell-off. This was the really bad day in the markets on the 15th of August, okay? We reject those lows at our entry. Again, this is no fluke. It's a, it's a whole dollar mark, $73, and we're going through a big support resistance zone when we entered. So it finds support starts to move again. So what, you know, now is the time to think this is going. We've got another higher support level. So now, now we wait for it. To, it did hit the target just and then consolidated. So if you didn't take profit there, you've got to see the overall bullish momentum is quite strong here. Okay. Let me pull the arrow line on again. So this is what we're looking at here. We're looking at a bit of a, a trend line. Now, what also you need to look at is the profile of the 535 oscillator. Let me just pull that down a little bit more so you can see it. You see on the wave three, on the impulse leg, the profile of the oscillator is very high, okay? Once we, if we still keep going high on this profile here, we're looking good. Now it's pulling back. Can you see how it's pulling back lower? We got a big move today. I don't want to chance that coming down again to test. I've been in this 35 days in physical stocks. It's time to get out, take the 1.6%, add it to my 0.5 on a short on YPF. Good trading day. Okay. Add it to the trade room trade on GGAL, 0.5, 2.6% profit on the account balance to start September. Got to be good, especially with AMD knocking on the door of 2% as well. So, you just have to be very patient with these, Trevor, uh, you know, to manage them. On a normal, you would only see one or two pullbacks. We've had three pullbacks during this fifth wave. Really, really difficult, and it does put your heart in your mouth when you're trying to manage these trades. Every time you get somewhere, it starts to pull back. But in these volatile times, it will happen. But if it's strong bullish bias, it will find higher support levels. So you can use these support levels as potential trailing stops. So if you're still in it right now, you could put a trailing stop right there. Okay. If you want to hold it some longer, a bit longer. Uh, no, this wasn't the real, that was earnings, but it recovered from that really quickly, um, really, really well. Uh, when you get this wave four, it should be an 80% of the time, it will be the lowest support level, okay? But we've got bullish bias. If you're still in this now, Trevor, there's nothing wrong with putting a trailing stop just below this next support level, because if it does break this, it's going to go down. At the moment, we're getting high support levels. If it does break this, it's going to go down. But for me, I want to take the profit. It's looking good to me. I've got some some other great trades on. You know, AMD is going to be tapping on the target very soon. For some reason, this is a little bit delayed today on Ninja Trader. Uh, I've got it on my other chart. The price is showing me at 2763. So this is very delayed on Ninja Trader today, and I have no idea why, because it's supposed to be live. But does that answer your question on KSS, um, Trevor? It's been a good trade, just needs patience, and sometimes that's very difficult.
Okay, cool. Now, has anybody got any other questions on or want me to look at Forex futures? If somebody's coming a bit late and haven't seen the new futures day trading add on, let me know. I can show you that again. Okay, let's have a look at these stocks for Trevor. On the daily, we're probably going to go. Let's so have a look at DE. I don't like this because I'm in cat as well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, we are bearish biased here. Trevor on DE. Um, I don't see a lot of strength in this sector at the moment. We've got a major support level, support resistance zone, I should say. There, <clears throat> so it has got really good support. Uh, around about 130 in the middle of there is 131.50. See resistance here, support, 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 really, really strong support level. Um, the only issue for me is we need to be um, more trending. This is not trending, we're corrective at the moment. Shorter time frame though. Oops, sorry, sorry guys. Press, oh, there we go, we got it, we got it. So shorter time frame, we may, you know, be looking for trends. Mm. 30 minutes. Yeah, there are trading opportunities. We can get, see it go on the 30 minute, for example. It goes from overbought to oversold quite a lot at the moment. It's quite rangy and it is bouncing off this big support and resistance zone there. Um, so I'd be looking for sort of intraday type trades on DE. I mean, that was a beautiful fifth wave move there on DE last week. Uh, and these patterns do repeat themselves, so be aware of that. Okay, is Mark, Mark, are you here? No, Mark, this, uh, uh, no. <clears throat> okay, just bear with me. AAL. Does that make sense? You're thinking of shorting DE, okay? So, to be honest, you're a bit late. If you was using the um, the day trading add-on that we've got, you would have been already shorting this quite a while ago. Um, but now you're a little late because we're going to be hitting support resistance, support about around about 140. So this is just a correction until it comes down to 140 where the wave four hit. Yes, Don, uh, I'm looking to get out around about $28, Don, on AMD, which is 2% profit on the account balance. It's getting really, really close. Sorry, guys. 
I am trading as well. So you just have to bear with me a second. I just need to get this uh, potentially ready because AMD is looking pretty hot. This was from my trade room and the new signal service for stocks. Been in it four days and it's going to hit, it's already hit the target, the fifth wave target. Just looking to get to $28 or just below, I think, to 2%. 27.96 is 2%. Okay, so AAL. Let's just go on a short time frame for you. Um, Trevor on DE, see where we are from those highs. Mm, not looking spectacular at the moment for a setup, is it really? Again, missed the fifth wave move on the 15 minute. I think I'd hold off on there at the moment. I think on the five minute, you've got a really sort of quadruple top there. If you isolate on that, I oh, just missed it as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you, you're too late to the party. AAL. AAL. Monster trade on AMD. Some very happy people. Okay, Don, it's getting very close to the 2% line, so get ready to get out. Because I think $28 might be too much for it. Could be wrong, not always right. Yeah, I'm going to the highs. Just there. So on AAL, we are looking bearish bias. It was like some strong day today. We've got to measure the 535 to make sure we don't go above it because at the moment, You've got to come below the six ball moving average low for your entry, Trevor, on AAL for a short fifth wave move. It is pushing new highs though, so you've got to be quite conservative. Uh, the highest point on the wave three, remember, on the 535, which is this part of the oscillator, not this, okay? So we measure that. Two extensions, highest point on the way three, zero. Highest point on the way three. Let's just get that up. Okay, so we're in on the 535, good. We're in the overbought zone, stochastic, good, but we need to turn this down. So the next thing to, to think about really is where is my gonna, is gonna be my entry? Remember when I talk about higher support levels on, on a move up on that fifth wave on KSS, it works in reverse when you're looking for an entry. So you, you really don't wanna be entering until you're below this pivot point here, okay? This was a rejection of this price and it continued to go higher. So you would be extremely silly to go low, short, before this point. So you've got to look for your entry strategy first, okay, before you start working out your risk reward. So there's 38.47, that's where my entry would be. My stop loss would be above the high of today, if it comes, you know, if it doesn't go any further. And then I work out my risk to reward.
And let's just put that in there. Looks like it's going to be okay at those parameters, but it can't go much higher. Because a 535 will break and the risk to reward will go. And we need all the stars aligned. Okay, so we're 1.6 into the target zone there. Okay, so at the moment, Trevor, a short coming below this pivot, below the 6-4 moving average low, is sensible, it's conservative, still gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into $34 into the target zone there. But it has to go no higher right now. If it starts to creep up higher, we've got the potential of this wave floor failing and the, the bearish trend failing. You'll see that if the 535 breaks the, the 140. But again, just to remind you, when we talked about KSS and we were looking for those higher support levels on that bullish move, it works in reverse. When we're going short, we want to make sure we're below the, the, the nearest support level, which is here. So 3845. Does that make sense, Trevor, on AAL? Okay, so the next one is COF. Just bear with me, I'm just about to close out AMD. Very, very close to closing AMD. Let's just put that up there. Are you still in, Don? <laughs> uh, what was the cut? COF. Ugly looking chart there, very rangy. We are coming off some lows there. No real trend to talk about, to say at the moment. What was you looking for on COF, um, Trevor? It doesn't look too great on the daily. at the moment. So this looks like um, intraday. Or gap, don't like that gap. I'd be very, very careful of this, Trevor. Don't like that gap intraday. I think it needs to come down further. Yeah, I think I would look at keep an eye out on the 60 minute on the intraday. It could come further down to $97 or even try and close the gap, but not all stocks close gaps. Be aware, okay, especially in today's markets. So I would look for the wave for pullback, find support, and then go long on COA. Okay, anybody want me to look at uh, some Forex or futures, guys? Come on. Got five minutes left ish. Okay. Australian dollar CAD. Give it time to whirl around. I'll look at ES as well. Yep. In fact, while that's whirling around, let's look at ES. You can see I've got eight charts open on this computer on the five minute time frame. I've got eight charts open on my other computer on the three minute time frame. So ES. It's 
So as long as this daily multi time frame dot cloud, the bottom one remains green, we are bullish buyers. So we're only looking for bullish moves. Okay. Today has not been a great day for trading. Yes. Not every day is. I'm sure you'll, you'll agree, MJ. Um, you know, we've got to go back in time a little bit to look for some decent trades in ES because we're near the highs. Um, but again, multiple time frame dot indicator here. We're going from green to cyan to red to cyan back to green. This is a pullback across multiple time frames. Okay. Then we get the green arrow on our stochastic after it's pulled back against our yellow bar here. Okay. And the 15 minute, the multiple time frame stochastic remains at the top, really strong. This was a breakout trade here, okay, on ES. So we've got the close of yesterday, we've got the high of yesterday, this green line, what it is here, and the open of that day. So obviously the entry there is 2907.95, and that was the long trade, really. Signs of exhaustion with that doji, get out. OK, at the moment, we are still looking for longs. Um, what's happened is futures were traded yesterday, but stocks weren't. OK, so we're getting a bit of rebalancing today where futures traders were pushing ES and everything else higher. Then once the market started and European opened this morning, ES and everything sold off. We got to the lows where it says yesterday's lows. That's Friday's lows. Um, and we're sort of trying to rebalance at the moment. And that's that's the issue um, um, with, with the S at the moment. But as long as we remain green at the bottom, we are only looking for longs when we're day trading the S at the moment. OK, so that's where your bias should be, MJ. I don't know whether you've got this uh, add on suite, but it really, really does help, you know, when we started to get so at the moment you see we're below the cloud you see the cloud here this is our w5t ema cloud we need to be above that then we need to come down to test it and then we'll be looking for longs at the moment we are not above the cloud we're still red on all of these dots so we've just got to let today play out um you know for me i'm not looking for trades every day on futures I'm looking for the big trades. And if you read those articles in that blog uh, on uh, the oil, the gold, and the 6E are the trades I've taken recently. The NQ and ES are the trades that Jerry and I did together. Uh, he's written the um, trade journals for them. Shows you how this works really, really well. Uh, you're very welcome, MJ. Restore cells. Let's move that across. Whoops, I lost it now. Where is it? There it is. Okay, A U D C A D. So, overall bias is bearish at the moment. So, I would be looking for shorts, however, you know. Not everybody, some people like to do counter trend, um, but you've got to be careful here. So this is where we are right now, George, on this, and you should be seeing something similar, except obviously for the dot cloud. Okay, so <clears throat> with this, there was the long trade today on the ATR switch. Okay. So with the ATR switch, we've gone from green dot cloud to red to cyan to cyan back to green. The ATR red hash line switches to green. Okay. We go long, it pulls back, tests the cloud. We go all green, the false bar is solid showing strong bullish trend that was the entry there this morning at 944250 and that was the long okay now what we're in is we are in a complex wave four pullback okay we need this to to move let me just check that 
Okay, so I'm going to measure that on Think or Swim. So again, it's the same sort of thing. Fib extension, highest point of wave three is here. Zero points. And then back to the, whoops, didn't click. Let's try that again. Zero. And then back to the highest point of wave three. So 535 is looking good so far. So this is how it works in real time. With this um, day trading add-on as well, we can see yesterday's high, and that is likely to be a support zone right now. We can see that's in our amber zone. So if we do come to test this and we start to bounce off, we get the ATR switch, we go all green except the last one. We've got, we've got a good potential fifth wave move there on uh, AUD, CAD. But this is going to come down further, I think. We still got on the 535. On the stochastic, the one that you usually see is in the cyan and red. Okay, that's pulling back at the moment. So we need further movement. Okay, and this is our multi time frame one at the moment. We've just gone, we've just gone uh, three uh, arrows uh, up there as well. So this could be, uh, this might not come back all the way down. But when we're looking at these complex wave force, we have to consider the positive divergence on these stochastic crossovers. We've had this first wave force pullback. We didn't really get a good entry because we've got this pivot point up here, uh, George. So we don't really want to be going along just before a resistance level. We'd like it to come deeper. And then we got a bit of a run up at this. You see these pivot levels? Just see them as little brick walls, not massive. Okay, I'm just hang on, guys. I'm just getting out of AMD. Yeah, I'm out, Don. I've just tweeted it now. Two percent profit on the account balance. You've got to love it. So, guys, on four trades today, I've made three four point six percent profit on the account balance just by trading the fifth wave. Okay, on different time frames on stocks. <laughs> Cheers, John. Don, sorry. Just to show you guys. That's AMD smashing through the target through $28. My 2% is right in there right now. I've taken the profit. Really good trade. Entered last Wednesday. I showed you the one Ninja Trader. This is just another platform. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Tuesday, because we had the day off yesterday. Good trade. Target hit. Gotta love it. I don't trade options, Trevor, so I close stocks positions on that. Cheap enough stock to trade. Uh, physical. So again, George, does that look okay to you how this um, day trading add on works for Forex? Uh, there was a great trade earlier on um, on the ATR switch in the um, multiple time frame dot cloud, and that was backed up by the stochastics, multiple time frame stochastics, and the, and the, the yellow bar at the top there. We've pulled back against that trend now, and we're just looking for support. So really, really, you know, potentially good looking trade there. Okay, guys, any questions on uh, the indicator suite itself, uh, how it works or anything like that before I go for a close up for September's set, um, support session? Oh, Tesla trade. Tesla is really hitting down as well. We're short Tesla, by the way, guys, in the trade room. What are we time frame? I think we're on the 120. So let's just put Tesla on there a second. You're welcome, Trevor. We're obviously we're short Tesla, as you can see. 
yeah, heading towards a target. Again, it worked. This works, guys. We are now entering where we've got false breakouts now. We're trading intraday Tesla short, and we are approaching the 1% profit on the account balance line here. Approaching the previous low at the wave three there, but really, really gathering some momentum now. You're welcome, George. Okay, guys, I'm going to close up. Hopefully, this was useful again, and I will see you in October, unless you have the day trading add-on suite for Think or Swim, in which case I'll see you in the boot camp live training session towards the end of September. I did my gym this afternoon, Trevor. I've got a new treadmill. It's out on my terrace looking at the mountains. I did that workout earlier on today. So yeah, I'm good. Okay guys, just gonna stop the recording.